Hi and welcome, this is a Blender compositing tutorial on combining animated 3D content and images in the compositor. I added my urban dog here, which is a fully rigged character, and I use exactly the same setup that I created for the previous tutorial. We have the plane, we have a camera, we have a 3D object, in this case the dog, a sunlight and an image for the background. The only difference is that this character will be animated and we don't create an image, we will render out a full movie. Here I added this image for the background and I set the camera to lock to view to arrange the 3D content so that it matches my desk here, my desk image. It is really the same that I did in the previous tutorial and I added the link to this to the description of this video. We have two render layers. The first one is for the dog and the second render layer is for the plane, but the plane won't be visible. In the movie we just use it to project the shadows onto this plane and with the following node setup, which is identical to the one I used in the previous tutorial. I can hide the plane, only display the shadows and combine the image and the character and the shadows to one output. This render layer here is for the character and this render layer is for the shadows. And when you switch to the scene tab right here you can see the two layers that are set up. So the first layer is rendered here and the second layer is rendered on a separate layer below. The second layer just contains here the shadow and the ambient occlusion and when I render this you can see this is the first one and this is the second one which contains only the plane and the shadows and the compositor will combine this to the, the following image. The character, the shadows and the image as the background. Okay, that's nice, but what I want to do now is I want to animate this character. So let's hide the node editor and let's see how to start. First we enable the auto keyframes. This means when I change the location or rotation now of a bone then automatically a keyframe will be added to my animation timeline. And this is really extremely useful when creating animations. So first I select the armature switch to pose mode and then I will select the first frame here in the timeline. Oh, you know what, let's enable the screencast keys so that you can see which keys I'm pressing. Now I press the A key to select all the bones and then I choose clear transform all. And now all bones will have their initial position and this is the first pose I want to start my animation with. I enable this auto IK. This means when I, for example, select an arm and move this bone, then the chain of parents will follow automatically. Normally I don't use this and create uh, my own inverse kinematics because then I have more control and more possibilities. But for the sake of this tutorial, I think this will work quite well. Okay, the process is now I select bones, move them around for particular frames, change uh, the rotation of the bones and improve the animation by doing this step by step and frame by frame. I scrub through the timeline and judge if my actions are okay, if the animation is developing into the right direction and so on. I will fast forward the video now because the steps are repeating now 
and I will come back to you in a few seconds. So I'm done with a basic animation, but I have to tweak it a little bit. And I'm using the um, dope sheet for this. You can open this up here and you see all the keyframes for the particular bones and you have more control over your animation. For example, I select here all the keyframes for a special column. I can press the shift key and click the right mouse button. And then I press the G key and move these keyframes around like you would do with any other object in Blender. This is really cool that you can use the same keystrokes for all the objects in Blender. You don't have to learn it again. You have to move something and you press G key and you can move it. Okay, let's continue and finish this animation now really fast. So I have to say this is a very simple animation, but that's okay. Now I want to show you how to set up your rendering settings for the movie. I choose H.264 encoding and MPEG-4 and I set the frames per second to 15. Then I preview this a bit too fast because it is only 80 frames, this animation, and we don't want it to end too fast. So I set it to 12. I think, yeah, this will do. Okay, great. Now, compositor is set up. All the settings are done. Just one thing I want to show you, because I always forget this. Um, you have to set the checkbox here in the film. Where is it? Here is it you have to set the checkbox to transparent because if you don't do this, the movie or the background of the 3D content won't be transparent and this is not what you want. Now I press animation and the movie will be rendered. Of course, I cut this uh, process out because uh, the rendering takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And this is the final result. Well, it's nice. I'm really happy with it. And I really hope you also like it and you will subscribe to my channel. Here's the link. And I added here two more links to other Blender compositing tutorials I recorded that might be interesting for you as well. Thanks a lot for watching this and see you soon here on my channel.